know why I'm wearing makeup. I'm very obviously out of makeup in my videos. This is just a trick you into thinking I'm attractive long enough for your view to count. Hey, it's Ray, and today I am going to be taking all of you with me on a journey called the ketogenic diet. For those of you who are returning subscribers, you may have noticed that I happen to love using myself as a guinea pig for diet trends. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I encourage you to join the show by hitting that subscribe button right in the crotch. If you have not heard the term keto, hi, where have you been the last year? So instead of using and consuming carbohydrates as your body's primary source of energy, going on a ketogenic diet actually switches that so it uses body fat and fat stores to get its energy. A ketogenic diet is incredibly low in carbohydrates, incredibly high in fat, and has moderate amounts of protein. Once your body runs out of glycogen stores from carbohydrates, it will start breaking down fat as its energy source, and the liver in turn will produce ketone bodies. Now, it can take anywhere from 24 hours to almost an entire week for your body to make that switch. So to give this diet a fair shot, I thought one week probably wasn't enough, so I'm gonna double that and do two instead. Now here's the part where I make the general health disclaimer, as I should in every video that has to do with diet. Despite what my handwriting might suggest, I'm not a doctor. I have no formal education, training, or experience in nutrition, and everything that you see in this video is solely that of my own opinion and my own experience. Something to take Take into consideration too is I already have pre-existing gut health problems. But generally speaking, I experience a lot of bloating, nausea, and discomfort surrounding digestion and eating food. I pretty much logged what I thought was significant the last two weeks of doing the diet. So without further ado, here is my last two weeks on keto. All right, you guys, so it is now 9.15. I still feel like garbage, but you know what? If I'm gonna be nauseous, might as well be doing something productive and try to work on getting our morning going because I should have been at work 15 minutes ago. So I didn't really have time for a proper breakfast. It's the perfect keto brand protein powder. I put two scoops in, some unsweetened coconut milk, and yeah, this is brekkie. For my first like real meal <laughs> of the day, I've got two scrambled eggs with some peppers and hot sauce, quarter of an avocado. This is cooked down obviously, but this, <clears throat> excuse me, this was about two cups of raw spinach. So I admittedly may have forgotten to film dinner but that's okay. I have my nightly turmeric latte. Usually I make it with almond milk and raw honey. Usually I make it with almond milk and raw honey, but because of keto, I made it with coconut milk, some stevia, a little bit of vanilla extract. We're doing fine. Anyways, it is the end of day number one. I wanna see how I test out uh, by peeing on a stick. Excuse me, momentarily. It is night number three here in the keto house. I was so so full from my lunch. It was at like 4 p.m. I peed on a stick again tonight. I still wasn't in ketosis. And I was like, you know what? I'm still full. I think I'm just gonna have like two scoops of the keto collagen protein powder and call it a night. It's now 11.45. I've been laying in bed for like half an hour. I am starving. So for my midnight snack, this has the perfect amount of fat and protein to keep me tied over well into the night and tomorrow morning. So this is the aisle I should stay away from with all those goodies. So update on the keto situation. I'm fighting some really extreme nausea. Give me a sec. I'm like nauseous a lot. We're on day nine of keto. This is the first day I've really, really felt nauseous. Like maybe half an hour ago. Um, I thought, you know what? I might just be electrolyte deficient. Let me have some bone broth. So TMI, but I just threw that up. <laughs> 
literally had to end a FaceTime call with one of my friends because I had to throw up halfway through doing nothing, talking on the phone. So keto is not perfect. I'm also not perfect. My digestive system is a f***ing mess. So it's not all keto's fault. So we'll see. Y'all, I think I might've blew it. <laughs> I don't think my beverage consumption was 100% keto tonight. <laughs> my friends and I all split like fish bowls, except there is no punchy stuff. It was just like straight liqueur, vodka, tequila, and tanqueray, and just a nightmare. <laughs> of all the liqueurs, I'm pretty sure Minimum 50 grams of carbohydrates. Minimum. So that just makes me feel great. So we'll see. Shit happens. One of the reasons I wanted to do this is to show like life happens. Sometimes you want to go out and be social. And when you make certain decisions, it becomes a precursor to making non-keto choices. But that's okay. I'm gonna drink some water right now. Have myself a little scoop of keto collagen and coconut milk before I go to sleep. I'm shaking this a lot, sorry. Got back from the club about 45 minutes ago. So there's that, isn't there, Dory? Here's how things panned out. Days one through four were absolutely flawless. My digestion was nowhere near as uncomfortable as it was before. I wasn't getting the, you know, the dreaded keto flu that everybody talks about. And I wasn't bloated, so I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty juiced. Now, at the one week mark, I got hit with my usual bouts of bloating and nausea. It only lasted for about one day, so given that fact alone, I don't really think it was the keto flu, I just think it was some of my existing conditions flaring up just a little bit. Now for the question that everybody has probably been waiting for and is probably the reason you came to this video in the first place. How much weight did I really lose? I started day one at 144.4 pounds, which is a little bit heavier than I'm used to maintaining, but given the carb fest the night before, I can't say I'm surprised. And the morning of day 14, I was 137.6, so nearly seven pounds exactly. How much of that was water weight? Probably 6.5. So now let's get to the pros and cons. For pros, I definitely noticed a positive change in my digestion. I managed to avoid the keto flu. Overall, I felt very full and satiated. I was never really craving anything or particularly hungry. And like I said, it took almost seven pounds off of me in two weeks, which even though it was water weight, it is great to take a lot of weight off of you relatively fast. Now for the cons, I was eating a lot more processed red meats than I would usually consume. And while you could for sure argue that's just a dietary choice for keto, <sighs> choosing a processed red meat over something like sweet potato or really starchy vegetable was just a choice I wasn't 100% on board with. Which leads me to my next con. I just felt as though the diet was a little bit too restrictive for fruits and vegetables. For me, it's really hard to back a diet that prohibits a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. I think having a wider variety of vegetables for people to use and incorporate into their macros produces better nutrition. It also helps keep people on track long-term. Speaking out of personal experience, I love fresh fruit. That's not something I'm gonna be giving up anytime soon. Overall, I think this is a really great diet to lose weight very quickly, whether it's for an event or a wedding or some really big thing. This isn't gonna starve you. It's not gonna leave you having ridiculous cravings or you know, drinking maple syrup water for five days, but also be realistic about something that restricts that many food groups long term. If you experience keto and it worked really well for you, I don't know, maybe it wasn't the best, let me know in the comment section below and let me know if you'd like to see me do any other health challenges or diets that are hot with the influencers right now because let me tell you, it is keto season. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to try my absolute best to upload videos every single week. Yeah, who knows, maybe if I hit that thousand subscriber mark, it, it just might motivate me. Until we meet again.